right, what's up? Once again, it's Kennard Vernon Stewart here for the podcast. Talking Auburn football, go ahead and like the video, comment, and subscribe to Vernon Speaks Sports Auburn. And as always, it's great to be an Auburn Tiger or Eagle. All right, so I'm hitting you all again with another car video. This is going to be kind of a lighthearted video. Don't want to lay anything too heavy on you because there is a lot going on, whether you care to believe it or not. Number one, it, the SEC has protocols as far as you know testing for uh the pandemic and all that other stuff number two there has been a cross conference schedule that has been put out as to who auburn alabama who everybody in the sec is going to be playing those are videos that we're going to put out next week when i actually have your attention span war eagle go ahead and like i said before subscribe again and as always, it's great to be an Auburn Tiger or Eagle. So I look at this 2020 season, and I'm very intrigued by what I see. I, I look at a player from that's been a, a, around for a while. And the fact that he's been around for a while kind of shows the chronology of where Auburn is today. To 2016, you talk about Eli Stove. Eli Stove, I was looking at some of his background, and he's been around so long that Mark Richt was actually recruiting Eli Stove. Damian Craig, who is not anywhere near the Auburn program anymore, was in the recruiting process with Eli Stove. And then a lot of folks talk about, well, why is the offense the way it is? Well, I mean, if you think about it, the turnover, for one, with offensive coordinators, Auburn has had several offensive coordinators, had several wide receiver coaches. It has not been a good thing. But one thing I like about this fact is the fact that Eli Stove has been a mainstay with the Auburn program. And he had a gruesome injury to where he tore, tore his ACL in spring training, which was a huge blow for the Tigers not having him. But like I said before, the fact that Eli Stove was willing to return, even Will Hastings as well, was willing to return, says a lot about the tenacity of these football players. The fact that, because I'm telling you, if I twist my ankle too hard, I ain't coming back. Like, I'm good. I, I'll figure out, you know, I'll get a job, I'll do something, but I'm not coming back to football. But Eli Stove was like, you know what? I'm a football player, so I'm coming back to play. He had a great, a pretty decent season last year. A little over 300 yards receiving. Actually, that's the most in his tenure. Actually had a nice catch against Oregon uh, to get Auburn back in that football game. Even has some of his infamous jet sweep action going on. Because that's what we know Eli stole for. I know all of y'all remember, I think it was back in 2016, the opening play of the game. Gus Malzahn, uh, or whoever well, who, whoever the offensive coordinator was at the time, um, Rhett Lashley, called an excellent play. I mean, caught, I mean, caught Arkansas totally off guard. As a matter of fact, it was similar to the play that Anthony Schwartz scored off of in the game against Texas A&M. Nobody saw it coming, but Eli Stove raced to the end zone, did the track finish for the touchdown. And, you know, that kind of became a trend because a, a couple of Alabama players did that same track finish that Eli Stove did. But Eli Stove is definitely an Auburn player, an Auburn staple. Um, definitely thankful to have him back. And and you can't discount the experience. You know, he's the kind of guy that can tell, hey, hey, I've been here. I've been to the SEC championship game. I've been through all of these different experiences, and this is the kind of mindset that you have to have. So to have a guy like Eli Stove on your side is very invaluable. I can actually see, now I don't know the backstory, I don't know his edu edu education, um, you know, I don't know his, his total e education, but when a guy sticks around like this and has the type of experience that he has, he kind of reminds me of Cody Burns to where he could possibly be in the coaching realm. Because for you to stay around like this, as I mean, there's not much. I mean, Auburn is recruiting some great wide receivers. So why would you come back? 
but he's coming back because of the love of the game. I love this stuff, guys. I love this type of um, sportsmanship, this type of tenacity for the game. Eli Stove is back in the house for his senior year because of the red shirt of the uh, ACL injury. Once again, it's Kennard Vernon Stewart here for the podcast. I am your host here for Vernon Speak Sports Auburn. Go ahead and like the video, comment, and subscribe. I am your Auburn enthusiast, analyst, and a 2002 fall graduate of Auburn University. And as always, it's great to be an Auburn Tiger or Eagle.